It's really not a round moon. It's almost half a moon. And there's a few stars. Not quite as many as I thought there would be. I'm assuming you can probably hear the frogs because they're much louder than they were the other night. Turn you around just in case this helps. And uh, there's one cow in there eating. Yeah. If you already saw today's video, you've uh, seen them. Most of them were in there earlier. It was a pretty packed barn. But they're laying out here. And number one comes number two into feeding. Tonight, <clears throat> we were still out working on fence. <clears throat> and any of you got on this walk with me before you know she forgot to flip a switch in the barn because that's all dark so one reason I carry a flashlight yeah main things for in between point A and point B but and yeah skinnier head this would be the yeah this one's the one that was sick, and she's laying here, chewing on her cud, looking good. Her cohort in there is the last two-year-old that hasn't calved yet. So, I think she's just laying there, that's what it looked like. Take a quick look from here. Yep, she's just laying there. Be nice if she'd do something, then all the two year olds would be done. Because I'd like to get them out with the yearlings at the same time. Just because. So, yeah, I know I didn't go turn the light on. I know my way around here in the dark, just as long as I don't step to the right, we're good. <laughs> I swear, her backside looks like you could drive a freight train out of that sucker. She's been that way for at least a week. But I've seen two-year-olds do that for longer than that, so. Not too many in here. There's a few, though. And, uh, yeah, I'm still going to turn the light on because we started turning, leaving one row of lights on years ago. It's not too bad because there's not that many in here, especially right now. It's nice out, so most of them are spending some time out. But uh, I used to have one get laid on once in a while. And funny, if the cows can see everything before they lay down, they won't lay down on a calf. So. Yeah, boomer. She's a big girl just laying there, especially that angle. Biggest thing is, both these mamas and calves are good, so. As these others are playing with the gate, <laughs> scratching their necks in unison, that's pretty good. I hope that actually showed up. Silly little dwarps. Oh well, I'm gonna let you go. So, you'll see this in Mondays. Granny, you don't need to eat grain. Still like the grand oats, just like the rest of them, right? Okay. Get you some more in the morning. Hey, Wade just asked me how the sunrise was this morning. Yeah. I had to come over and bring Red into the trailer to get his last antibiotics after getting his teeth pulled. So, I better get a little bit of that bright stuff for Wade. He says it's overcast up there. He needs a little shot of sunshine. And I'm really surprised. I figured with all the 
cold mornings we were having when that old cherry tree was starting to bloom that they were going to kind of come on and fall right off. But yeah, there it is. Really, really blooming. Hard to believe that old thing can put that much on and it'll put that much fruit on and the birds will get 99.9% .9 of it before it's even ripe. And uh, I think those tires are actually holding that tree up. It is as big around as those tires, pretty much. Those are, uh, they're off the one, the top ones are off the 135, I think. Bottom ones, I think, are off the 175 in that stack, so. Yeah, they're 28 and 30 inch rubber. And here we go, it's going to get bright, because it literally just popped from behind the tree and got me in the corner of the eye. So, there you go, Wade. 40 degrees this morning, a couple degrees colder than yesterday morning, and Becky just told me they're saying 76 in Portland today, so yeah, we'll be 80, maybe a little higher, and yes, it's a damp morning, that's not shadows on that roof, that's dew on the roof, just to give you a little perspective really don't want to go out there and start digging with fence yet because the grass is wet enough it isn't that tall yet but still end up soaked through feet but got to get going on that before it gets too warm too so i'll even show you some of that today see what we did yesterday driveway is just the local utility parking lot i guess i don't know doesn't even look like it's a local utility stuff i'm assuming it's some outfit that can a new electric service up to the neighbor's house. They ran a short line from the edge of the road to the corner of their house. Kind of a weird place to put a box on a house, but you know, apparently they needed to put a new one in and that's what they did. But man, that was inspected like a month ago. So if that's what they're doing today, I don't know, but they've been up there for an hour and a half, I guess. Obviously, they weren't blocking it because number one just came through past them, so they must be parked into the neighbor's yard enough. I was thinking about maybe firing the 3394 up, take it for a spin around the block, find out how well they can move. Because uh, the disc is 15 foot wide, and it's only a 15 foot wide right away. Guess what? <laughs> They'd have no place to be. But. I'm too busy doing other stuff. picked up 200 pound rolls of wire problem is I thought I was thinking we used 14 gauge we used 12 gauge we'd use this but this is that hard stuff that's the bend in that end that's about all I could do without killing my fingers you break it if you try to use it for rigging sometimes you break it when you're trying to anchor the ends it's a pain in the ass to splice so, I'm going to get the other roll and the pallet, and we'll set that one on and put them in her car. We're in the back of her pickup, and hopefully she can go to town and pick up some softer stuff and some bigger stuff. 
and we're gonna go back out and just finish rigging posts we got got the wire we need for rigging we just don't have the wire we need for stringing out from my cage she's rigging this one I've rigged the others the staple in the side to hold the height and Wrap the wire around, slipped a little tool on it, which you can't really see from there, I guess. And round and round and round and round and round until it's tight. Throw a staple on the front edge so it doesn't shift. And Becky's being a dork. She's trying to swap bees. I just killed a bee. You're welcome. So we're getting stuff rigged, and I'm going to go clean up some brush while we're waiting for... Um, might want to tell them your mistake there, Daddy. I already did. She's quick. Yeah, you made me fucking lift it for no fucking reason and put it on nice. And then she's going to do that, so I'm going to not put this part on there. So, <laughs> Yeah, right. You know you're going to hear the F word once in a while. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's about successfully got one done. It's a little on the loose side, but once we tension wires, it'll tighten that up. I'm staying out of the camera. And she says she's staying out of the camera and she's running around. So, oh, well. I go play. I don't want to be in it. I'm going to open it. So, Ryan, 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 and I can't think of his channel name. Well, I can't channel. Uh, don't read it. Don't read it. Okay, we can't read it. And, uh, hey, looky, making it happen. I, I don't know, don't know what that really cost, but yeah, it's a big envelope. Okay. My favorite, my favorite East Coast son, Ryan, sent us a letter of appreciation. So, oh, thank you, Ryan. You rock. We love you. You know we're here if you need us. Do not show me. Too late. Are you going to open Spence? So, now she wants me to open. She can open it. Let me open Spence for you. Spence. His address is on the back. So I know. Peek. I saw that. Ours is on the front, so don't peek. <laughs> in English. Oh, by the way, it's overcast. I don't know what the humidity is, but it's, I'm going to say 80 plus. They have a lovely letter also. And about 80 degrees. Uh, show the stickers. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hello, Ed. I cannot call you Mr. Ed. There may be confusion because of my rheumatism. I rang so badly by hand, therefore it must be this way. I hope you all feel good. Here is, it is good in any case. Spring is starting to show its first thing. Size and I plan to start planting corn indoors, of course, because we still have about two feet of snow left. I promise to send more stickers, and I hope you they arrive before Easter. It depends on whether <laughs> the letter goes through the Suez Canal or not. <laughs> With the wishes for a really good summer, we send friendly greetings from Sweden. Sincerely, Sven and Kirsten. Thank you. So, thank you, Sven. Thank you, Kirsten. Thank you, thank you. Any of you don't watch that? That's making it happen. He's in Sweden. He, he did actually get his corn planted indoors. And by the way, there's the pregnant one. And uh, yeah, there was one that was sick. She's getting extra grain and she's being respectful enough to let her eat it. We have to come up with stickers so we can send everyone Yeah, we stickers. still got to do stickers. That was somebody's job a year ago. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. So anyway, thank you. And no, we didn't get wires strung. Mom just got back from town a little bit ago with the right size. It's four o'clock. We're whooped. Everything is rigged. And I cleaned a bunch of brush up that come down. And I'm debating if I take the track out there to go clear a corner post out so we can try to do something with it. But tomorrow, there's 200 pounds of wire right there on the back of that truck, plus a bunch of bunch of yeah screw in insulators the little ones and uh, maybe tomorrow i'll show you how we do it i planned on that today i got a little bit here but you couldn't see it because the way she was and i it just got in the loader so i didn't get back off anyway this is way more than long enough so thanks for watching everybody uh monday wasn't too bad for a monday you know get some new wires and call her good or get some different wire and call it good and uh, I'll bring you back tomorrow for something. And they think they get something. They don't. They know. Well, actually, they do. I, I lied. They get a bucket of ground feed tonight. They're getting a good feed in the morning and ground feed tonight because 
two-year-olds are still growing and some of them got shorted a little and if you look at them any of these they're all skinny because well they're putting all of their calves and their calves are looking really good and that little bugger he's kind of a spooky little guy but he is so inquisitive he will look at me like that every time I walk by and usually if I lean toward him he runs away 933G where's his mama where's his mama the back one there with the spot on her head that's his mama but you look at him and look at her yeah she's kind of skinny I mean she ain't bad she should be more than good enough to breed but we want to try to keep some weight on them what we can and the other little bugger there he's the one that was bug-eyed uh, his mama is huh, right there the one three-year-old that's in here that's her first calf and he is a he's really growing good and the mice finally grew into his face or his face grew into his eyes whatever and everybody else is packed in the feed barn except for one one lone calf okay that's more than a long enough video you guys are going to be awake all night watching this one